So, I mean, there's about eight good reasons to get married. And probably the worst one is because you love them. You should sit down and write out a piece of paper. Here to me is what is a close relationship. And really detail it out and then get one from him and see if these things match. A close relationship to him might be uh, after two years after we're married, you sit in your chair over there and I sit here and we both watch football on Monday night. You're going, you're nuts. We both sit in the same chair. And he goes, okay, we'll get a couch. And you sit on that end and I sit on this end. And you're saying, no Monday nights. I would find out what it means. And you may say, I want you to sit and meditate with me. He goes, I'll drink beer, you meditate. <laughs> there may be a good chance of what you want. You won't get, but you'll get a lot of it. And it may not be this person you're with. It might be somebody else who will look at you and say, you're the one they've been after all their life. So I would take a piece of paper and I'd write, start to write down on it the things that I'm interested in, in a man. And, and with that, if I say, if I'm interested in a family, having children, I'd be interested, like, what, what would I want my kids? If I had a son, what do I see him doing? If I have a daughter, what do I see her doing? It's, it's not a phenomenal thing when you get clear. When your intention is very clear, the, the clearness of it takes you to where you can find these people. You understand the difference in that? So the conditioning is variable. And when we just love because we love, and there's nothing going to happen out of it one way or another, we're in un unconditional loving. We're, in a sense, in God's consciousness. 